What's up everyone, Adam Reeples Vox here, back with another review. Not of the GameCon video, so, woo! I know y'all are probably sick of that, but I appreciate your support on it. It was our first convention we covered in that kind of capacity, and it was a blast. And so if you don't know what I'm talking about, Chu and I, my fiance and I did get to go to the GameCon 2015 in Galveston, Texas as VIPs. And we covered quite a bit of it both on this channel and the vlog channel, so check out that on the channel if you missed those videos. But in this video, I'm covering something that is very, very cool. This is the cinema mount from Pixel Addicts, which is a mount for your phone to essentially turn it into, well, almost a DSLR, especially if you have the right phone. So taking a physical look at the product, you can see that it looks very much like a camera itself. And that's because it's set up essentially to be so. So let's take a physical tour of it real quick. Overall, it is a metal, plastic, and wood framing to mount your phone in. It has two handles on the back to grip onto, as well as a wood cutout hand holder handle on the right hand side, as if you were actually holding a camera to snap a picture, which is pretty cool. And then also on the front, you see that it does have a big old, very nice looking lens. It has a super wide angle lens by default, and then you can unscrew that to get to the macro lens and then you can completely take that off and just use your camera lens if you want it. I'll touch on what I think about these in a little bit, and it does even come with a lens cap to keep it safe, which is pretty cool. On the top, you do find the cinema mount branding, as well as a hot shoe adapter with a tripod screw, so you can mount pretty much anything up here, be it an LED panel, a shotgun mic, an audio recorder, you can fit just about anything up here, or you could simply remove the hot shoe if you desire. On the bottom, you will find a tripod screw mount to mount this baby up on a tripod. Now, it is put under the bulk of the phone here. However, with the case itself, it's not centered in the case due to how the rest of the case works. So the weight can get a bit awkward with the lenses being over here on the opposite side of the tripod screw if you're not careful. Then on the side with the lenses on it, you do have a screw adjust to adjust how high the lens sits because not all lenses on phones are in the same spot. So most phones have them in the center. However, things like iPhones and such have them in different positions. This allows you to completely line it up perfectly with your camera's lens to avoid trouble. You will also find two screw holes for mounting it up on specific railing systems as well. Flipping it around the back, you find everything else. This is where your phone goes. It has a clamp mounting system to hold your phone in place. It has a bubble level to make sure your mounting is level and even so you don't have crooked videos or pictures. It has adjustments to adjust the length of, a ca of the case. That way it can fit phones up to 5.5 inches in screen size. Now, this is where I put it to the real test, which I'll touch on again in a bit soon with my LG G4. Now, I've recently shattered the screen, so all that's really useful is a camera. So, with this phone, with this rig, I'm able to turn my LG G4 into a 4K, essentially DSLR recording rig. I can mount the shotgun mic on top and all that, and it works really, really well. Now, this clamping system is a very tight mount. This is the one that does not use a screw. It actually uses, like, a hydraulic spring system to hold your phone in place. And the LG G4 actually fits at the maximum height of this spring clamp. Therefore, it fits, and any phone that size should fit, but I, had a, I have a lot of trouble getting the phone out of it as it is held in there really, really tightly, and it takes a lot of prying since all that pressure is on the phone to actually get it out. I've not caused any damage to my phone by doing this. However, it is something to look out for. Also on both sides are the little loopholes so you could attach a camera strap or something similar to the case as well if you really wanted to treat it like a full-fledged camera. All in all, this really lets you turn your phone into a camera, and if you have something like the LG G4 or modern smartphones, which can record in 4K or, you know, really high resolution, you have yourself a 4K recording rig with decent lenses and everything right here. It also comes with an attachment to attach a couple filters. The black filter may... Uh, they're gradient filters. There's a black one and a blue one. And the black one seems to maybe be an ND filter of some sort, but I can't figure it out. I can't really tell the difference when I'm shooting with it of the black filter actually having any effect on the video except for making it slightly darker on that part of the gradient. However, the blue filter very clearly adds a blue hue over it for that part of the gradient, which actually looks kind of cool for sky shots because it really just brings out the blue in the sky, which looks really, really nice. So as I mentioned before, it does have two lenses on it. It has the wide angle lens and the macro lens. The wide angle lens produces a fairly realistic wide angle look, which isn't too skewed or 
stretched or anything like that. It's not a fisheye lens. It is just a wide angle lens. But it makes it really handy to make sure you're getting everything in shot. And I used it for one of my interviews back at the GameCon 2015, the interview with Dark Shot Studios. And it really helped because of my subject, Brandon Smith, the guy I was interviewing, was very clearly just up front in focus and in the shot. And then you had like the entire convention floor kind of out in the background with that wide angle lens. And it looked really, really cool. The macro lens looks really good if you can get a good shot on it. However, it requires you have, which makes sense for macro lenses, but I'm used to having a bit more leeway to play with. It, to get anything in focus with the macro lens, in my experience, you have to get basically on top of the objects. Like the lens has to just almost be touching the object you're trying to shoot, which isn't a, pro isn't a problem if you're hand, you know, you're running and gunning but trying to shoot something on, on a tripod with the macro lens becomes pretty difficult. This may also be because I'm shooting on the LG G4, which already has really, really good macro, but that is something I experienced nonetheless. Overall, this is an amazing little case. I, I, if I pop my LG G4 in here, I can run around and shoot videos in 4K with awesome lenses, and you could even theoretically get more lenses to screw on there and everything, and it just it works really, really well. I'm just really impressed by it. It, it. it works really well. And the fact that you get the shoe mount on top means you can put a microphone on there and suit it up and really just have yourself a little run and gun video shooting device. And since smartphones nowadays record really high quality video, you almost, for, for someone starting out, you can just stick to your phone and never really have to go for an expensive camera until you start getting into more professional level stuff, which is really neat. Something that's also neat and probably totally unintentional is that the backside here is totally open so you can still plug in or charge your smartphone or whatever you have plugged in here without taking it out of the case, which also makes it easy for transferring files and things like that. Unfortunately, with the LG G4, the lock and volume rocker buttons are actually on the backside, which are pressed up against the lens. So to turn it off or use those buttons, I would have to pull it off. But thankfully, the LG G4 has a double tap to wake option. So as long as I close the camera app, it can fall asleep on its own. And then I double tap the screen to wake it up and can still use it, which works out. Most other phones are going to have the buttons on the side, which you should, in theory, be able to access to some degree. So overall, this is a freaking fantastic case. It, it, it's been a blast using my LG G4, which is the first device that I've owned that shoots in 4K with this Pixel Addict cinema mount and just running and gunning and shooting really awesome videos and photos. Like it, it, frankly, I, 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 I probably enjoy it shooting videos and photos about evenly. And I would recommend watching out if you have something like a G4, a really, really big phone or something approaching that phablet size area as this is a very tight grip and you may have trouble getting your phone out at times. But again, it, it has rubber grips here, so I haven't actually had any damage to my phone be caused by this system. It's highly customizable with the tripod screw mounts and the, and the hot shoe adapter and the rail system. It is flexible. It fits just about any phone in existence and it really makes it feel like you're holding a camera instead of a smartphone. Link to this product will be in the description below as well as link to Pixel Addicts in general. They have a lot of really cool photography and videography gear. If you like this video, be sure to get rated thumbs up. If you disliked it, well, you know what to do. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out links in the description below to our other channels, our Patreon campaign where you can support the channel via monthly contribution, etc., etc. Uh, I may have a couple raw upload samples as well in the description below that I took with this setup so you can see it outside of just this video. Otherwise, guys, subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech videos, and I'll see you in the next one. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next epic tech video.